I've got the OnePlus 5T right here. And today I want to show you how to fix a TWRP error that tells you you have the incorrect modem version whenever you try to update Lineage OS. So I have a couple of devices that I have Lineage OS installed and some other custom ROMs installed that I just don't update all the time. So every now and then whenever I go multiple months or multiple weeks without installing a new update, I'll come up and I'll find that TWRP is giving me an error that says it cannot install this latest custom ROM update because my current installed modem does not match what's needed for this update. And we download and initiate this update through the Lineage OS updater. But this can happen if we're manually copying the update to the smartphone and then just trying to flash that zip file in TWRP. Again, once you initiate the update, it's going to reboot your smartphone, take you into TWRP, and instead of going through with the update, you're going to be able to check that log and see that, hey, it's going to say, hey, we cannot install this update because there is a conflict in the modem. Now, a lot of people, when you ask how to fix this issue, they're going to say to basically return your phone to stock Android, which in this case would be stock Oxygen OS. So I would need to look for an Unbrick tutorial that would wipe out my entire phone and install the current and latest version of Oxygen OS or Hydrogen OS if you want to install that just to get your modem updated to the latest version but we don't have to do that instead we can download the latest version of Oxygen OS from OnePlus we can then extract that modem file and then manually flash that modem to this device. So again, I tried to install the November 16th update a couple of days ago, and it gave me that error. So what I did is I went to the Oxygen OS download website, and I'm going to have all these links and all these step-by-step -step instructions for things like how to install ADB and Fastboot tools, and where to get these Oxygen OS downloads. I'm going to have that in the full tutorial on my website, androidexplained.com. So just look for that full tutorial link in the video description below. So once you have the latest Oxygen OS firmware downloaded for your device, this could be the OnePlus 5, the OnePlus 5T, or any of the OnePlus 6 devices the OnePlus 3, it doesn't matter. If you're getting the same error, we can easily just flash the modem, the latest modem, and get your device updated to the latest version very quickly. So just as I mentioned, I have downloaded that firmware file, then I've right-clicked it, and I've extracted it with WinRAR. It gives us this folder which we go into. We get some files here and we also get some other folders. From here we're going to go right into the firmware-update folder. And then we have another set of files in here. We need to take this non-hlos.bin file and we need to copy or move that into the same folder as we have installed ADB and Fastboot tools into. So you're going to have that, this file, again, it's going to be in the same folder as your ADB and Fastboot tools. So you're going to say, have see adb.exe, fastboot.exe, and all the other support files for those two tools. And we're also going to have this file in that same folder. From there, we can open up a command prompt or a Windows PowerShell in this specific folder. 
you see open up PowerShell window here, or we can double click on our ADB and Fastboot Tools shortcut that the minimal version installs, or you can just open up a command prompt and browse to the same folder you have ADB, Fastboot, and this bin file in. Then we are going to take our smartphone, our OnePlus smartphone, boot it into fast boot mode, which again, if you're not clear on how to do this, I'm going to have step-by-step -step instructions in the full tutorial on my website. I just can't go and do these tutorials in every single video, as this one's already going to be over five minutes long. So once we have all that, we have our phone in fast boot mode. We're going to connect the smartphone to the PC with a USB cable. And again, we're going to have this command prompt open. And with that, we're going to type out the command fast boot space flash space modem space and then capital N O N dash capital H L O S dot B I N. And I'm going to have this command on my website as well. So you can just copy and paste it very quickly if you want. And all we have to do is press enter on the keyboard and that's going to send this file, which is our modem file from the latest firmware that we downloaded from Oxygen OS or from OnePlus for our device. It's going to send this file to our smartphone and it's going to install it into the modem partition. And that's going to actually update our modem on the device. Once that has been done, we can now do the update to Lineage OS on our OnePlus 5, OnePlus 5T, OnePlus 3, whatever the device is, we can do our update either directly in TWRP or through Lineage OS's built-in updater. Either way, we're going to see that the update script will check our current version of the modem and again, it's going to see that we have the latest version right there. So we can just flash that version of the modem onto the device, go through the update process, and that is how to fix the TWRP modem error whenever you're trying to update Lineage OS.